If you're looking for an educational adventure for your sensory sensitive child, there is a science festival coming to Tampa this month. Darcy Pritchett from the advisory board of Sensational SciFest and Brandy Jackson, the program director of Amrock Fun Lab are here to tell us all about Sensational SciFest. Thank you both for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. So we do need to address what is happening <laughs> in front of us right now. So this is what a, a robot? What is so this? this is a sumo bot. It's a league of combat robotics, which mm -hmm. is one of our really popular programs at the Amrock Fab Lab. Um, and we'll get to that in a few minutes, but we really want to talk about how we're going to do science festivals for kids with sensory. Yes, yes, definitely want to talk about that. I just wanted to make sure that we address Absolutely. why we have robots in front of us. So we'll get to this in a second. But let's talk about this um, sensational sci fest. So we're a Scientist Inc. We're a science education nonprofit founded here in Tampa by uh, local scientists. Our mission is simple. It's to connect local scientists with their uh, community. Mm -hmm. And so Sensational SciFest is a science festival designed by experts to meet the needs of kiddos with uh, sens uh, sensory sensitivities. Yeah, and so there are going to be hands-on activities, but there are also going to be resources there for families. Absolutely. So we've brought on the Center for Autism and Related Disabilities from USF, uh, also known as CARD, to help us navigate how to meet those needs. Um, there will be booths available with information and resources for neurodiverse kids and their families. Why is it such an important festival to have? Well, uh, the typical uh, science festival it can be overwhelming for, yeah. a ch for a child with us. So what's the difference then if we go to this festival? So when you go to a sense, uh, when you go to any kind of science festival, it is very hands-on. You've got robotics with loud noises, bright lights, big movements, you've got volcanoes erupting, but you also have a lot of kids and a lot of families that are very excited moving everywhere. In a sensory science festival, we really limit how many people can come in the space, first mm -hmm. of all, so it's specially designed for them. We have a sensory deprivation room for them to calm down if they get over sensitized. And then each exhibit actually tells you which senses is this going to challenge so that you can decide, is this the right event for me or not? And throughout the space, there's hands-on, there's there's, um, there's activities you can touch, you can feel, you can build, you can do. And that so these students who often are very gifted in hands-on learning once they have the resources and supports, get the opportunity to explore it at a young age mm -hmm. and then dive into all that's available here in Tampa for them. So if a family's watching right now and they think, oh, this might be really great, how do they figure out which activity is really good for them at this or if this festival is good for them at all? So when they go on the website, we have a website for them, it will tell them all the activities, they sign up for their ticket and they come through. And the cool thing is it's designed as an open walking event. So as they walk through, they can be like, I don't think that's the best event for me. I'm gonna go to the next one. They have two hours to explore the space, do all the hands-on learning they want, get information for how they can come back. And it actually leads in to a month-long event of robotics that happens the next the next weekend, every single weekend. So these, stu these students that are participating can decide, do I want to come back and get more involved now that I know what's here? Yeah, this is a great, it's kind of like a gateway to be able to do so many of these activities. Is this an activity that it is, is an available? activity we're going to do. It is sumo bots and okay. you and I are going to battle. All right, let's battle. So <laughs> the way this works is all you have to worry about is your, your toggle switch. Okay. And we are going to drive directly at each other. Okay. And the first one to fall off the board. Yeah. Loses. Don't worry, because I'm a terrible driver. Normally oh, great. The teens then this will be you. really awesome, because I'm just as horrible. Okay, okay here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I Okay, lost. we're going to try. No, okay, you, let's no, try again. No, I think, oh, you did lose, because this was yours. And it broke. <laughs> I broke it. It's okay. You just dropped the battery. All right, so I'm not invited <laughs> to the festival. You were wow. absolutely invited to the festival, because that's what it's like. Sometimes you do something for the first second and you fail and you immediately think, oh my gosh, I did something terrible. Yeah, yeah, Everything you do. in our space is designed that if something breaks, it's okay. We fix it quickly and then you get right back to it. Well, so. wonderful. Well, it sounds amazing and we want to tell everybody how they can go. It is going to be on Saturday, September 30th, Sensational SciFest. Also, they wanted to let you know that if you go to the festival and you mention that you saw this on the Morning Blend, you are going to get a free t-shirt and custom mug. Thank you both for being here. This is wonderful. Thank you. All right, thanks. Yeah,